Why are you creative? Mm. I think it's part to do with what we're talking about, all those things. I never wanted to have children because I, I didn't feel like I was a capable, responsible human being. I thought there'd be more chance of me throwing a baby out of a window than there would be me. You know, if I imagined myself with a baby, I'd be throwing it out of a window screaming. And I never thought I was mentally capable of looking after a child, let alone physically. So it was something I never wanted. But also, at the same amount of time, at the same time, I wasn't mentally capable of looking after myself. Um, all sorts of things. You know, I was in a mess. And also, the other thing is, I don't think, for me, it's not right to have a child and not have any money. It's wrong. It's really selfish. So now that I'm earning lots of money, and I've sorted my act out a lot better, and I'm not vomiting, and I'm not, like, drunk, and I'm not uh, always constantly all the time or whatever, and I'm not dissatisfied with my lot, and I still have this idea that I want to get better and better and better. Then you start thinking that you're capable of having children. You think that that creative idea is okay, in a way. But I don't, I'm not happy about sacrificing my art, really. And it would be. I know that I learned more about creativity and my own creativity after having an, um, after my first abortion. I learned more about the essence and knowledge of where things come from than any fucking art college or lecture or anyone could tell me. And I also knew intuitively, as soon as I come round after my abortion, that all the art that I'd ever made was a real big bunch of crap and needed to be destroyed immediately. And I had to stop doing what I was doing, which I did. And then I promised myself that I wouldn't start making art or making things again until I could justify it along parallel, alongside with my life, which I do now quite well.